In today's video, I'm going to talk about pre-design, one of the newest uh, tools from SketchUp 2021. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. This video is dedicated to pre-design, uh, a new tool from SketchUp uh, 2021 um, Pro and Studio um, updates. Okay, if you're subscribing, let me just check that out. So for subs uh, SketchUp Pro subscription, that's my case. Uh, if you have SketchUp Studio or Enterprise, of course, okay. Uh, so this is a new tool. It's in a browser. It's online. Okay, and basically what it is It's a series of information about the location of your design So this is before you actually start modeling. So this is things um, that can enhance your survey So basically this is things that you could go and research and of course you have access to all this information uh, but this is, this is very practical and it's all in one place and in easy graphics to show you uh, some, some, um, some information. So I'm just going to show you. So it comes with this like uh, tree, okay, the ones you see here in English or things that you might, um, might already uh, heard about locations. So this is the tree I've done for actually models, projects I'm working on, um, I'm starting to work on actually. Uh, so basically what you have here, it's uh, studies, okay, to help you in your choices, in, uh, in your design choices. And uh, I'm going to just show you one to, to give you an example. Just before that, I'm just going to go quickly. Before you actually uh, choose the, 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 the location, uh, you actually give it a name, uh, something you could uh, recognize easily or by location or by client, whatever, you know. So if it's an office, if it's cool, if it's residential, so in my case it's residential. Um, Okay, so you continue and now you add the location. So and this um, is pretty good in terms of location and in terms of uh, information because I've put really small, little, little, not even towns really, places in, in Portugal and it didn't have any problem not only locating it but actually gathering uh, research. Of course, I haven't compared this research with real so it, it seems okay to me when I look and, and I see the, the, the more or less temperatures along the year and all that, but I didn't actually compare it to see how accurate it is, you know, but it seemed pretty good uh, to me. Okay, so you give you a location and you continue and then you're going to open up like I'm going to do it here. Okay, so let's check it out. This one is more or less in the center of Portugal, uh, center south. Um, so this is what you've gave in the first um, the first element it's called seasons and this is pretty cool so as you can see it's pretty easy graphics to look at you don't have any way to export this information I think it's pretty cool information to just even complete some project presentation you might have um, you know but uh, anyway you can have here all the information and just and just uh, and just gather this information and do it your own presentation but it's pretty cool as you can see you have by seasons okay temperature the weather the the wind um, Let's see the architectural response. Okay, so this is the this is pretty cool. I think this is I'm saying cool like a hundred times. Sorry, um, trying to get another word, but um, um, it's the frequency of uh, you know the impact of architecture and the the, the weather and the, the climate and the, the frequency of hours occupied in average. Okay. So uh, based on what the weather is like um, outside or inside, okay? Um, and the, how architecture can respond. So it gives you tips uh, of things to use. So three stars, two stars, you know. So it's, it's quite amazing uh, things you can, you can read from here, here and, you know, it might help you with some design choices, especially if you're an architect or if you're actually doing a building, but as well as like a gazebo, a shelter, um, this is things to, to consider, okay? Um, glazing, so this is, uh, if you're an architect, if this is um, glazing, uh, so it gives you a lot of tips. 
a lot of types of glazing you might use okay and a lot of information as you can see here it's 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 uh, it's quite cold information and here you have uh, the facing of the uh, specific wall in this case okay so imagine that if you're just working uh, if you're working more with the garden with the landscape and you have a gazebo or something like this a shelter uh, you can have here some information for you and shading okay as well so best shading strategies uh, by facade um, so again this is more architectural minded uh, top lighting this is quite fun as well i think even if you're working more with the gardens there is things here, here that might help you okay again if you work with the shelter with the gazebo with the outdoor office building some kind of integrated in the garden but as well as you know if you're working close together with the outdoor terrace if you're working close together with the home with the living room space that's normally the case you know how it influences the space you know in the living room and outside spaces okay so this is more our our vibe really so it gives you an idea of things that you might by percentage of usability or, or um, uh, usefulness okay so it's, it's all here expa explained so for this specific area see that i i know that the heating and the lighting are things that are going to be really useful to that client i already had that idea but you know it might be if you're in a in an area that it has a colder climate of course the heating a bit is going to be a bigger percentage um if you were in a in a more sunnier more uh, uh, time of the, the year that it's really sunny and hot of course the sun shade and the hair movement are gonna have bigger percentage uh, if in a really windy area okay rainy you know like this so it's, it's not like it's not you know it's not um, something out of this world in terms of information it's just really easy in terms of graphic and uh, and uh, readability and it's practical okay so every time before you actually start working on the project just come here give the, the specific location okay you can have really the address of the place not just the town but the address and it gives you all this information that you might use okay and here you have the design interventions and in here the time the the year okay and uh, by seasons more or less so you have here spring winter autumn summer and the, the the usefulness of certain things okay all the interventions uh, usable without interventions and always unusable so as it is it's fairly easy to read and it gives you the most effective intervention combinations i thought this was really interesting as well so again you know nothing out of this world but it's just another way of you really you know just it's almost like a checklist to make sure you don't forget nothing in your design or if nothing escape you sometimes the heating you know um of course uh you know a shady area and lighting it's already you know it's always there in your project anyway but in here you might have a different perspective or actually how how useful that's going to be for your client okay because uh, for example you, you might really like a fire pit or something like this but if it's if it's in a really hot area of of the country you might think you know and if you have like bu budget cuts to do okay uh, if uh, if the heating is not going to be as useful as for example a sunshade or uh, lighting let's see what choices can we make here okay so this is something we you can argue as well um, if that's the case okay if you're doing any actually budget cuts and things like this i would like to have a way to export this information because i thought i think it would be really cool a little cheating really uh if you have this kind of all the information gathered nicely to present as an element in your project but of course you can you know make it your own but you know it's all here anyway so that's that's pretty cool so that's pre-design um and i think it's a really interesting i'm gonna have the link for uh the pre-design um page 
things to, to so it's basically what I talk about here so you have all this this information um, and I, I think it's really a cool update uh, for SketchUp 2021 I just can't believe they actually left layout exactly like it is so that's another thing coming okay uh, I'll talk a little bit more about SketchUp in the upcoming weeks bye bye guys in the next one